What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna to be talking about this. This is not the perfect dimensions, but Tesla's 4680 battery cell. Um, this is one of the biggest developments of the company. Can they bring battery cell production in-house for their vehicles, unlocking um, the cell to structure format, meaning they can use less raw materials to make the cars that go the same range for a cheaper price, more sustainably. This is the next big step of Tesla's vertical integration. So me as an investor, I'm wondering what is up with the 4680 program since batteries day? How far are we from seeing these in a car? I got a little bit of a scoop and normally I'm not really a big fan of leaking news at all actually don't think it's the move, but um, I don't know. It's just like, I'm trying to document my investing research process. So I, I don't know. This is just, it's, I don't feel like it's that. I feel like we kind of already knew this, but I wanted to give my two cents on what I think is happening with the 4680 program. So essentially, I think the original program with the plan with the 4680s was to put this in the Plaid Plus vehicle that was enabling the 500 mile range. They dropped the Plaid Plus. That was the initial hint that there was a delay in the 4680s ramp. Um, and now the next sort of phase of that delay is on the last conference call. We basically heard that Elon Musk say the Model Ys, they have a contingency plan if they can't get the new 4680s ready for those. Um, because originally the Model Y that's happening in Berlin was gonna use these new battery cells. Then um, they're gonna use the 2170s. So I basically got conf confirmation that that's happening. They're basically gonna delay the 4680. They're gonna put the Model Y in Austin and Berlin with the 2170s. Eventually, they're, when they get the 4680 ready, they're gonna switch it to the 4680. But don't get too hyped and don't be waiting on buying a new Model Y because A, I think the 2170s are working super well, so they're more reliable. Maybe, you know, a new battery, who knows what could go wrong. But also the 4680s, isn't gonna lead to like a 400 mile range Model Y. My theory and what I'm hearing is that instead of increasing the range, they'll just decrease the amount of materials in the car. So they'll make a smaller battery pack from a kilowatt hours perspective, which will be cheaper, which will use less raw materials, but the range and the specs will be the same. So from a consumer perspective, you don't really care what batteries in your car. You don't give a shit what batteries in your iPhone. Why do you care what batteries in your Tesla? Who cares, whatever. But from an investor perspective, it is important to know how fast this is ramping because as Elon says, amazing battery cells are the biggest capacity constraint for Tesla and for their long-term growth. Um, you know, I think the most important things you're gonna watch if you're a Tesla investor, how fast is SF, S, FSD getting better? Which that's my next video, FSD 9.2. So subscribe, you know, it's gonna be dope. Also, can they bring the battery cell production house? What is the status of this 4680 battery cell? So what I'm hearing, <laughs> what I'm hearing is the large laminating machines, which turn that cathode powder um, into the usable material for jelly rolls by crushing it have very limited tolerances, but they're getting some like little dents when they turn that cathode powder into the sheet for the jelly roll. And so that is causing delays. And so they're still having burst production where they make the correct cells, but then the machine will go wrong. And then they have this huge layer of, of the cathode powder that they turn into this long strip, but then it has this little dent, so they have to throw it away and start over again. So that is the problem. Um, they, but in theory, from an engineering perspective, they validate it. So that's the flip side here. Like we're getting into the nitty gritty details of why is there a delay, what is the delay, what's going on here. But the truth of the matter is, Tesla is working extremely fast and is developing this incredible technology at an unbelievably unprecedented pace and is making huge progress. And I think it's still on the way to commercializing this game changing cell, putting it in cars, changing the whole world and the whole industry. That's all happening and it's actually closer than ever to happening. Um, so it's important to keep that context in mind. But that is what I'm hearing is the reason for the delay. So they're trying to work that out before they move into this bigger, uh, like even more expensive machine that compresses that cathode powder into those sheets because if you're already, you know, you don't wanna mess it up on the bigger machine and then have to replace the even bigger machine. So these are just nuances of what are happening at the, the Cato Road facility, it sounds like. But the, at the end of the day, they have made some really good 4680 cells that they are apparently using in um, energy storage products. But I think the, tr the fact of the matter is they really wanna get this once they hit scale production into the Model Y and that will be the first sort of mass market Tesla vehicle with the 4680 cell. Also, this is another reason that I think we heard sort of in between the lines on AI about the Cybertruck um, where the Cybertruck sounds like it's delayed until about late or mid 2022 at the earliest. And that once again is because it's gonna rely on these 4680 battery cells. Um, so that is sort of what's holding up a couple of the new product innovations from Tesla. So anyway, this is hyperchange. The gist is Tesla's making huge progress on commercializing the 4680 cell, but of course, Ali Elon, he's pushing for these unbelievable, unprecedented timelines. And they were a little too ambitious with trying to get the 4680 ready to get the Model Y lines off the ground in Austin, Berlin. They just wanna get that product out the door. I mean, if you are trying to buy a Tesla right now, you can't. Used Tesla prices are insane. It's like Tesla's totally sold out. Um, they're literally just like can't make enough of them, even though they're expanding production like crazy to sell them. So I think the correct move here is to put the 2170s in these Model Ys, get those programs off the ground before switching them to the 4680 when they're ready. You know, we were expecting delays in the 4680. 
I always thought their timeline was insane. And the, at the end of the day, they're actually kind of ahead of the sandbagging timeline that I had of being like, damn, it's gonna take them years to commercialize this. It sounds like, and if I had to guess, they're still only maybe six months away from getting these machines working. Um, like the cell works, the design of the cell works. It is a game changer, but it's just the machine that makes the machine is where the struggles are. But I think they're gonna solve that in the next six months. And then 12 months from now, they could be pumping out a ton of 4680s at incredible scale, which is on time for the bull thesis, which is a game changer, which is gonna enable them to do the cyber truck, the semi truck, the Model Y using less raw materials per battery pack. So you talk about that Tesla impact report. Um, you know, the pace of innovation of Tesla's technology and manufacturing process, but also raw materials and impact per vehicle on the climate as a whole is also relying on this and is also moving in the right direction. So loving all of this, I think all in all, this is actually good news. E even though it seems like it's like, oh, we're not putting the 4680 in the Model Y yet. I actually think it's good news because the 4680 program is progressing and is gonna happen. Anyway, this is HyperChange. Would love to know what y'all think in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Shout out to the Patreon supporters that fund the channel. Y'all are amazing and keep me keep me doing this so I can bring y'all the awesome news. And I also have an amazing Tesla round table with some crazy AI chip experts that's gonna drop this weekend, so stay tuned for that too. One more tidbit, and also if you're watching the video this far, I gotta give you a little juicy piece of news, right? Apparently the production yield um, through assembly is up to about 70 to 80% from just 20% a year ago. So that's another way to frame how much progress and is happening behind the scenes here um, at Tesla's Battery Skunk Works on Cato Road. Anyway, 